Hello, this is Wesley Fryer with Moving at the Speed of Creativity, and in this screencast, which is part two of three parts, I'll be explaining how you can add comments to a VoiceThread that you're creating with the website VoiceThread.com. I'm sharing this screencast for my Technology for Teachers class, about which you can learn more information on PowerfulIngredients.com. What we've done is create a basic VoiceThread digital story, and up to this point we have used the upload button to add pictures and then to also add a title with the description and tags and links for each image so that they are properly attributed. Now I'm going to click on the second link which is to comment on those pictures. The first thing you're going to probably see is, if you have not already, a prompt to upload an avatar to your VoiceThread account and that way you won't have this generic icon that it will automatically give you. If you uh, would like, you can go ahead and load up an avatar, and there are different websites that you can use to create avatars for yourself. You don't need to use your picture. You don't need to use really anything that would identify yourself um, as, um, you know, you. You can certainly be anonymous, but I'm going to go ahead and save this, and then that image is going to be my avatar for this particular login. You're going to want to select the picture that you want to comment on first, and down here in the corner you can see that I've got a link to select pictures, and so I've got all of my pictures here, and I'll just go ahead and demonstrate this for my first image. You can also see that the link that I've added for that image is available. When I click the comment link here below, I'm going to be prompted with several choices, and in my free educators account, I not only can use text and type input, I can also record audio, I can record video, I can use a phone, and there's a limited number of free minutes available, but that's a pay per minute option after I think three minutes, or I could upload audio that I have recorded here. And in this case, I'm going to use the microphone that I have connected to my computer, and I'm going to go ahead and record my audio. So I'm going to go ahead and click the record button, and it's going to prompt me to give permission to use my microphone, and I'm going to say allow. Now, as soon as I do this, the computer should start recording and I should immediately be able to um, put my audio message in my voice thread. Hello, this is Wesley Fryer and this is a story about the reasons why I love storm chasing and love severe weather, not because I want to get in the middle of it, but because I think it is amazing to witness and also quite fun to photograph. So you can see that I went ahead and recorded that. I'm going to go ahead and click Save, and if I want to play that back, I can simply click on my icon, and that me message that I recorded is going to play back here. If for some reason I don't like that recording, th when I click here on the side, I have a trash can, and I could click that trash can and choose to delete that particular comment and then just re-record it, but I'll choose to keep it in this case. That's pretty much all, and what you're ready to do now is go on to your next image, and you're going to repeat the process. So you're going to go ahead and click your record button and use your microphone to make a comment. If for some reason you do not have a microphone, your microphone is not functioning, you can click on the type tool and you can add your comment here. Um, and you will type your comment. I love um, to see lightning from a safe distance away. And then you'll be clicking save and that comment will show up when people click on it. You'll have the same option here that you uh, had before. If you would like to delete the comment you can click on it and choose to delete it. And then you can either put it in again or you know choose a different way of recording. You'll go ahead and proceed through all of your images and you'll record a comment with each one and at that point you'll be done with step two which is adding comments to your voice thread.